Um, we're going to call the meeting back into order. Um, we came out of executive session at 7.05. And we have nothing to report. You got that, Lisa? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, top of the agenda, 7 o'clock, public comment. So this is a period, folks, of we set aside 15 minutes at every meeting to hear from people um, who choose to join us on any item that is not on the agenda. So let me ask the folks who are here if they have something they want to speak to that is not on our regular agenda. Because if it's on the agenda, then we'll have you speak. Right. Yeah. yeah. We are we're on the agenda. Okay. You're great. on the agenda. Thank you. Okay. Great. John Rissy. Okay. Okay. Oh, great. Good. Um, okay, so we will wait for the road commissioner to arrive before we take that item up, but I assume he'll be here any moment. Um, okay, we have, a cons we have several uh, sets of minutes that we want to approve in executive or in the consent agenda and also the payment of a boot allowance. And Denise, I'm going to ask you to just provide the details and Lisa, if you wouldn't mind capturing these details. Okay, the boot allowance. On the boot allowance. The boot allowance is something that we give to the road crew members once a year. It's two hundred dollars, and we cut them a check out of the accounts payable, so that if there's the taxes are not withheld. My question for the board is: We've had two very dedicated and res and reliable temporaries that have worked quite a number of Clearly, hours. Yes. Normally, we just give it to. The regular employees, but yeah. I'm asking if we could also give it to the towns. Well, yeah. so that's why don't we, we understand that's what the consent agenda item is then? Well, right. I was going to say, why don't we take that off and oh, okay. and, and do, it do it separately? Okay, um, do it now? I move the consent agenda without the boot allowance. Well, I'll second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay, so we've proved I the move minutes. The boot allowance an item of two hundred dollars for per all per permanent and. Temporary members of the uh, road group. And to take it from the AP so that it's not taxable? And take it from the accounts payable account so that it is not taxable to them. So we're approved. So uh, is there a second? Second. Okay, so we are approving 200 per person. Right. Um, and this is their annual. So the annual, the annual allowance. So we're. This is the annual allowance for the. It's budgeted. Right. No. I don't know. So it's for FY twenty two twenty three year. Okay. Any other questions, comments? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed. Okay. Roads report. Roads report. Um, so roads item. report with no road commissioner here yet. Okay. Um, okay. I can talk about the signs. We approved the purchase last meeting of some signs for the Hurtin Mountain Swim area. Um, Heidi Thompson took it on and worked the signs. Um, she's picked them up. We just need approval to ask Alfred to help with, or, or somebody on the road crew, to help with removing the old signs that were related to COVID and Close posting them. the new signs. Okay. Are you moving that? Yes. I'll second it. Okay. Any, I think I had a question, but it came and went. We'll have to remember to tell Apple that we did this when yeah. he arrives. Right. Okay. Any other comments? Can you state that motion again? I make a motion that we ask the road crew to work with Heidi Thompson to remove the old COVID signs at the Curtis Pond swim area and replace them with the new signs that have been, that were approved and are done and ready to be posted. Denise made the motion. Mark, you seconded. Second. And when you say COVID signs, they were signs that were put up about wearing a mask at the swim area and COVID, COVID -y stuff. Yeah. Okay. And did we even at some point have like numbers or did we just talk about it and not end up I doing don't that? Remember. Okay. Um, but all the signs came in way under budget. Yeah. We budgeted 150, and I think it's less than 100. Yeah. Cool. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Um, I did send out for a couple of emails letting them know we needed to be here tonight, please. Do, do we need Alfie for the rough emergency right away? Well, we don't know what conditions he is. Yeah, we, we do. We, we, need, we need him for the rest. I just yeah. scanned. In my opinion, we need him for the everything else in this list. Except the 
No, we need him for everything. The last one. No, we need him for that too. Okay. Right. So, because um, we want him to have the benefit of the of any okay. information these we have. Okay, so. You want to go to our one? Um. Oh wait a minute. Here, can I go to the Alfred? We can do this. The, the digital side, the public, like the oh. speed side. Mm -hmm. Do you want to do that without Alfred? Here? Um, why don't we do the ARPA one? So the ARPA update is, I think we talked last time about deferring judgment on some of the ARPA requests to um, put it on a warning for town meeting. So we have, we've granted the request to CD Fiber. We talked about using ARPA money to buy these speed signs and ARPA money for something we were talking about the other day. I put it on a future agenda item. We have not approved, but Denise and I, when we were working on the agenda, um, I can't see it right now, but we had this idea of using ARPA funds to fund Oh, so, uh, road, road, des road design study, hire, hire an engineer. For traffic calming road design. For the, For County Road, for maybe Adamant, for Lightning, Lightning Ridge, Ridge for some good. of our real... It's good. It's very good. Yeah. So, so we need an estimate. So, so we want to just articulate that as... I think what we've said before, but I'll say it out loud in this context again, so that it's in a minute, it's every time we talk about it. The ARPA money is helping us enormously to address some hot and urgent items that people have been had so much to say about and that very valid concerns and we haven't had a straight way of dealing with it. But now we do and using ARPA funds to just make some of these things right. just to address them. So this was an extension of that idea. So I think as I call for a vote, what we're doing is saying we want to reserve um, you know, that we're not necessarily saying, oh, we're just going to net put a moratorium and any more ARPA expenses, more like... If, there's, if the town has a clear and significant need, for instance, purchasing these speed signs that we all agreed was really important and, had, and buying enough to spread around town is a significant expense. We didn't have ARPA money before right. Right. to purchase those. And same thing with the traffic this, design. You know, the last time that we said, let's consider putting whatever the remainder is on, uh, on the warning. Was right. that done by motion? We didn't do it. No. That's what we would do. I don't even about. know that we need to do anything. Well, that's we well, well, no, understand we, it. We need to have it. When we get to the sign thing, we're going to have to have a motion to use the ARPA funds because when the, when the invoice comes in, we're going to direct for the, for the which side? He's for the radar. Well, yeah, right. I, I hear what Mark's saying. What Mark's saying is, is you know, why do we feel like we have to make a motion that we're going to push all, have that come up at, at town meeting for, you know, some of the various other requests? Instead, really what we're doing is twice now articulating our intent to say that's a really good idea. Right. I mean, I think we have the latitude to spend the money on some of these really important things that we haven't had money for before, like an engineering study to right. look at the design of the roads and these speed signs. The rest of the money is just going to sit there. And, and be put it'll and, be sit there. So the question, so what, what you're saying it? is, it's board understanding, shared understanding. Right. That we, that, and you know, we may have other needs that the town has, which is going to deplete some of that ARPA money, but we'll make it closer to doing the warning for town meeting. We'll see what's left. We'll see what's left and, you know, maybe put those items that have come in. I think there's like five or six. So the, not, really they're, not, they're the, not huge amounts of money. And they're external requests. Right, they're external All right. requests. So we, put, we warned this as an action item because last time we felt like we wanted to take a vote, but... I think Mark's, I don't want to put words in your mouth, is why do we need, to, why do we feel like we need to take a vote on waiting to town meeting to take a vote? Unless Rick is ready. No, 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 that's different. That's a separately more item. Okay, right. Yeah. yeah, I don't think, I agree. So, all right, so we're just going to say, yeah, we talked about it twice. We like the idea of 
external request, we'll take them to town meeting for ARPA funds. Right. Okay. Just like we do the other appropriations. So we're not doing an action item right. on the ARPA public input process, and we have completed our discussion on that topic. Right. And at some point soon, I'll put together I'm to a list to put in the record of what we've requested we've received so far and how much that comes to. Yep. I think we've yeah. at least well. listed them before. Good. How are you? Okay. All right. So now we're going back to the roads report. Alfred, we did. We covered Curtis Pond swim area and we approved the road crew removing the old and installing the new signage. We did that before you got here. Yeah, and you remember Katie Thompson was working on that, so she's picked up the signs. So you don't yeah, have to. I just see that they were ordered because they called the shop saying they were ready and I said they're not for me, they're a different department. And no, they're for you. So <laughs> well, they're for the road crew. Well, they're yeah. for the road crew to install, so uh, I wanted the board to approve the road crew installing them so I can let Heidi know to catch up with you for the signs because she can help you with where to place them. And it would be removing yeah, the old. That's, that's what I'll need is yeah. for her to okay. tell where So I just wanted the board to approve it first. So yeah. that's done. We did that. So they're just changing the existing signs? Yeah. Taking, yeah, out. taking out the COVID signs. Okay. And she knows where they are, and you do too because you probably put them, you put them in. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay, All right, so she's going to get a hold of me with that. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, so we have um, a number of action items related to road, um, road issues. Um, folks are here on the receive right of way application. And the bruff right of way. And the uh, yeah. and bruff. No. No, you guys are just here for. Not here. No. Yes. No, but those are the two items. Yeah, well, our we have, yeah, those are the two right away. Um, why don't we do, well, what's listed first. first? Yeah, let's see, Rissy, the Rissy first. That's, we didn't have you here to talk about last time, but in the, but we did realize we have a number of, we, without you here, we had a number of questions about how that right of way um, application permit request relates to the work going on on the culverts and the culverts right. or the bridge out there. So we need to be here. Yeah. So it, the, this right away will not affect that stormwater project at all um, because they're boring. They're boring underneath the road. So who they is boring underneath the road? The Rissy, the Rissy project okay. is boring underneath the road. It's not a trench. So there'll be no excavation in the right away. They're just going to be pulling a pipe underground and everybody's aware that there's water lines there's there's a culvert there's a town culvert there all of that the water line that they're going to pull in will be all underneath that way so, below that so this is for the septic to the building the little red building the old mill building the old mill so this is to is this to increase the septic consumption ability it's okay. to provide a septic for that. So currently there's no septic. There's, no, there's just a holding tank there now. And they want to... So this is to replace <coughs> the holding tank? Well, it wants to create an atrial bow access, right? That's more... It's, to, it's right. And so they'll, there's a septic tank there now. They're going to add a pump station. Then the, that pump station will pump water underneath Back Street as well as Moscow Woods to another leach field um, to... On the Rissy the property. property, which used to be the Bowling property. Mm -hmm. uh, they have purchased that and that's, that's suitable for a leach field. So they've got a design, uh, mm -hmm. a design leach field going in there. Okay. That, so there, there is an existing septic. So back to my question, is that mean they're going to be able to increase the capacity for future use at the build, mill building? Um, that I don't know for sure about. Uh, that really has nothing to do with what they're asking for as far right. as a right of way permit. Right. Yeah. That would be a building permit, perhaps, or well, that's still. Or the different. design yeah. permit. It has to, that is a septic design permit question that would be dealt with through the septic engineers. I would right. At the state. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. Said, which field would be designed for a certain volume? Yeah, that's not our, that's, that's all we have to, I think, for, fortunately, all we to have a pipe under your rope. Right. right. And so, so, what, so, 
for purposes of the permit, and then we have people in the audience. I don't know. Yeah, no, we'll, yeah, we'll um, let what them add to this. Would the conditions be for this? Um, like I said, it's really not going to affect the road. They're doing their their open ditches will be outside of the right way. So digging below an existing infrastructure, right? And so they're right. That, yeah, they don't get them. right. And they're not even digging; they're boring. Boring. That's what I mean. But they, yeah. they, they can ensure that the board does not interfere with, with existing existing right. infrastructure. Right. I mean, you could you could say to make sure that all areas disturbed disturbed are put back to original condition, which is you know seeded mulched, able to grow vegetation back again. Okay. Did we also um, have, I feel like that was one of the questions, whether it's affected or does affect the stormwater project. Do we also have questions, was it the bridge project? Do we wonder about that? I feel like there was another question we had. Well, the bridge, again, that's it's, it's far enough away from the bridge. It's sort of going right between both projects. Yeah. So the stormwater is up near the post office. The bridge is the bridge. It's in, this line that they're proposing to go is right between them. It wasn't so, that. It wasn't the bridge. It was the clay boils project further up the road. That's what we were wondering. Oh, the clay boils are way out of it. No, they're here. Okay. okay. So, so this is not to replace the septic line. It's to put in. It's to install a new. Install, install a septic new field. Force main. No, it's not even the field. The field. Oh, oh the field comes later. I see. The field. So has the field doesn't have anything to do with us. Yeah. The field is not in the right way. Yeah, okay, so they've got to get from point A to point B okay, so under, your road, you, under your road. Okay, can you just say it again to install? To install a new force main for septic system. That's it for the from my notes, at least from the questions that we had last time. Um, the only thing I, the other thing I can think of is we want to include both roads, both Back Street and Moscow Woods. I'm confused. How is this? Back Street's on the other side of Fort Worth. Sorry, sorry, not Back Street, Mill Street. Okay, Mill Street, Street. Because the right. center, so really the tank, and the, and, the, and the field is going to be sort of right beside. So so what what Forgive Street. my total ignorance. No, no I, I gave you the wrong Mill name. Street? I gave you the wrong name. It's what? Mill Street. What is it? It's just no, little. It's just little, little, a little tiny road, tiny road just past the bridge. Yeah. Oh, it's on the right. We're just going to Earlene's. Earlene lived out there. So, what do we want to say about that? I just, I, I think the permit is asking for Moscow Woods. Mm -hmm. I just, we want to add. Um, and Mill. Just and so that both roads. Are, so yeah. So the project description is Mill Road and Mill Road Woods. and Moscow Woods. Okay, any other questions or comments on this one before I ask the folks from the audience who want to join us? I don't think it's relevant, but I'm assuming just to answer your question, of course they want to increase the, they want yeah. to do something sure. new with it, and I hope well, they do something great, you know. Well, that's the questions that I have. Yeah, but I, sure. it, it's outside of our jurisdiction at this point, but sure. Okay. So do you want to okay. do you want to introduce yourselves and either ask you questions come up? or make you comments? Sure. Um, I'm Megan Rissy. I'm John's wife. Oh. Okay. Um, and I, I don't feel like I have anything else to say about the project, mm -hmm. other than you know everything sounds right. Okay. Um, yeah. Great. Thanks, yeah. Megan. I mean, we would really love it to happen. Yes. Well, we're we're right now. Yeah. Yeah. And then and then who's with you? This is my mother. I'm uh, John's mother. And John is a diehard environmentalist, always has been, and he wants to do the right thing for the town. Great. Thank you very much. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Uh, board, anything else for Alfred on this topic? Is there a motion to approve with the conditions articulated? So Second. Uh, any other discussion? All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Okay. All right, Alfred, thank you. Now let's move on to the Bruff emergency right of way that we did. Um, yeah, it happened over a weekend. Yeah, so. not this past, yeah. not yesterday weekend, but the weekend right before our last meeting. Yeah, was, uh, I think they actually, they actually ended up doing the work on Tuesday. Yeah. We had to process the emergency though over the right, weekend. Right, right. Yes. Right. 
And you went there and met with them? I went there that Sunday morning and met with them. Uh, told them my wish list as far as what they needed to do to best serve the town's road. Did they obey you? They did. I drove by it today and they... they, they so what were, your, what were your conditions? I would put them down as... Um, well, it was that I wanted them to come straight down from the spring, come straight down to their little uh, elk building across from their house and then cross the road. So it's more of a straight shot across the road instead of... Okay, so what would the permit say? Do we have to say... Uh, just here? that they would, they're going to follow the side of the road and then follow it. the side of the road. It doesn't matter what side? No. When no, it has to matter which side. Is it east, west, uh, north, south? I guess it would be the west side of the road then. And then cross, cross okay, the road. Okay, follow the west side of Baton Road. Of Baton Road. To, to a point across from? Uh, across from their little elk building into the foundation of their main house. Okay, point. Across from the outbuilding? Across from the outbuilding into the corner of the main house. Was this a, a break? Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think what, not real clear about what happened, but one spring was not producing, so they needed to pump another one, and they thought that the line was leaking, and that's why they were losing water. So they wanted to replace that line. Basically, they didn't have any water. So I'm not sure if that if that remedied the whole problem or not. I don't know, but I haven't talked to them since. But I know they've got a new Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you all. Yeah. Um, any other So, no, I mean, I told them to uh, replace the gravel. Put a, put a layer of good gravel on the top surface uh, when they were done, and they have done that also. I figured they'd be pretty compliant. Okay, so Denise mm -hmm. is capturing the, okay. the conditions that Alfred out, set out at the time in this emergency mm -hmm. situation. Are there any other comments that people want to make before we go to a vote? Is there a motion to approve the Bruff Emergency Right of Way so Permit? Second. Um, all in favor, please say aye. 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 By the way, just for my education, when there's an emergency like this, what what is what's happened legally? Alfie has the power to sort of authorize an emergency work. The the board the board had effectively had a meeting. Um, we are allowed to have emergency. And it was an emergency meeting. Essentially. Right, via email, right? Yeah. Well, no. Well, or was it? I think that going forward, I think we have to have something, some kind of a policy or something on this document when there is an emergency authorizing the road commissioner or whoever right. to, take to take action. And it's an emergency, <clears throat> so it doesn't have water. Mm -hmm. Or it's an emergency if somebody's separate. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. working. Yeah. So, so then I think we need to ratify it. Right. So yeah. This is basically yeah. what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Something in place for yeah. emergency. We are not yeah. Yeah. Don't have yeah, we were we are allowed to have emergency meetings, but calling an emergency meeting for something like this. Yeah, I mean it was a it was a little bit of a I Even think I talked to board members on the phone. You talked to people on the phone, but that's that's um, not. Really yeah, is this something we need advice of council on? How to no, do it, or we just no. know what we need to do. I think we just need to have a statement somewhere. Okay, okay so and we can probably have some help moving forward with this. Yeah. Okay. Here we all Can we vote? Yes, we did. Okay. Rick, thank you for shepherding. Um, let's... Does somebody have the orders? Um, yes, yeah, over here with Laura. And don't forget, there's a lot of them to sign. And we, you guys, if you need me to sign, don't forget to sign. I can do it, too. Um, okay, so grooved... Rick, I'm just moving on to the next thing on the list. Groove payment as an alternative to speed bumps. So we talked about this last time, and you were going to present a formal... 
proposal or out, you know articulate something that we could actually approve because we hadn't warned it last in the last meeting. I haven't had time. I was on vacation, so I haven't had time to put enough together on that. Okay. Do you want to carry it to the twelfth? Yeah. Can we do that? Yep. It's, Okay. So yeah. So basically, what this is, just for folks who are interested, is a few weeks ago we approved speed bumps, and we, you know, under formal action here. But then Rick and Alfred kind of went, did a little more research and realized that there might be a better alternative. So they're bringing that back for us on the twelfth. We can talk to you. I mean, you know, basically, what was the cost of that three hundred fifty or four hundred fifty dollars a day to run a grooming machine? So we can do a groove payment pattern right. as opposed to a speed bump. Can the road crew do this? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I just want to make sure because we because it's it serves an alternative to the speed bump that we've actually clearly documented that we were right. Right. Mm -hmm. We we authorized the purchase and, and voted on it. Right. And now we're basically gonna be rescinding that. I so guess. I think well, if people are following the minutes, they need to understand that we came up with Yes, we did approve the speed bumps, but we came up with this alternative idea based on feedback from the road commissioner and and research and re yeah. research. So we should this would be a better option. So we can just have that in the minutes and people question it. Well, right, but we should rescind the other. Right. When we get around to having a formal proposal to approve, then we should rescind. Right. The other one. Right. We shouldn't rescind the other one until we know that this one is going right. to be approved. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Do you even want? Do we need to even rescind the other one? Yeah, we can because stand if, if, if well, okay, we won't. Well, if we just, I mean, that's we're not doing both. Yeah, we're not going to do we're both, and I think both. we need to have a clear record. Once right. we say yeah. we're going to do something, people are counting on us to do right. it until so we I say want we're not. To show tonight that this right. is why that isn't happening just yet because we're going to do this other. So that's why it would be important to get it done on the twelfth. Right. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Because we'll probably start having people wonder. People may yeah, be wondering now. Right, why it's not something being done. Yeah, so you got why it's not. Yeah, um, are, we doing, are we doing speed carts? Yeah, speed carts. Rick and Alfred, speed yeah, carts. Let's just, talk about that. I put together a new proposal, and I included the old one that I forgot. I brought, I brought my old one, but. You don't need it, it's, it's all here. <laughs> In that, I've got, I've got all three. Also, there are copies of this in the in the uh, traffic in the in the, in the Google file too. But, For tonight, there are. Yeah. Okay. They're in the roads. The, the Excel spreadsheet. All the other. I didn't see them in the Google folder. I put it in, in, in the select board agenda file in the traffic. Oh, traffic okay, that's why right. I'm oh, not finding oh, it. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I just moved, maybe we moved that. What this is, what I, you had told me to kind of look at a bigger picture, something like that. And that is number three, which is on the back. It's on the, the one back. and two was what we saw last That's what you saw last week. And now right. number three, I thought, you know, what I did was look at seven of these units. Two of them would be freestanding. Mm -hmm. If you look down, kind of on the bottom left, I actually put the locations that I have in mind, you know, for placing it does. We have five of the more permanent pole types with anchors, and then we would have two on the mobile basis. The one on Lightning Ridge, would that be mobile? Well, we would have... It says multiple base locations. So that's why we got extra bases, because we could move it up and down Lightning Ridge. Okay, so it's not fixed. It is, but it isn't. It's a fixed pole design. Unlike the, you're there, the, we have two that are on a round, it's a big steel mobile with base. Types. Right, yeah. that's right. Okay, well, it's kind of, yeah, they're little wheels, but it sits on the ground. Mm -hmm. This would be mounted into a permanent base, but what we would do is probably put two or three bases in the wall like Oh, range. I see, different and, locations. Yeah, and then we would move it periodically from site to site, and not very often, but it just, we've got a couple of places on Lightning Ridge that are speed problems, mm -hmm. and it's primarily eastbound because it's the downhill run. I wonder, do you have an extra copy? I wonder if anybody in the yeah. audience would like a copy. Yeah, I can do it. You hear our copy. Is, um, there. can you help me out just a second here? Okay. 
Okay, Lightning Ridge, you're proposing a couple of different space locations with a permanent pole. No, with a movable pole. Yeah, movable pole that can go in. Yeah. They basically unscrew the base. Yeah, yeah. You totally explained that. And that's eastbound. That's it's downhill towards the school. Yeah, yeah. So if you go towards the school, do, towards you're going school. toward, you're coming from that end toward. That's how I knew, otherwise yeah. I'd be like. <laughs> okay, West County, you meant? You mean County? You should mean well, County. Well, I know County Road and West County Road. We've got speed problems in both directions. West right? County, as soon as you leave Maple Corner, just past Ginny's, between it's, like where it, Dirk yeah. and, it's and dirt, it's that's it's West. Right. That's right. West, West County. County Road is the dirt portion. Okay, and when you say eastbound, I'm sorry, I think it would be County Road going north and south. Which direction is eastbound? Is it coming in to the east? East bound is coming from the west toward toward Montpelier. <laughs> the west oh, toward Montpelier. Okay. okay. So you're on the stone road coming in toward yeah. okay. in toward the paved road. Right. Montague. And what about and then County Road is westbound, which is away from Montpelier. Right. And that would be where that's we have the, that's, that's the where we have the 25 mile an hour zone okay, on the paved road coming toward Maple. And so then West County Road is dirt. That would be on my road. Yeah, I know, I, I know and that. And the roof pavement would be up by near this sign would be placed, right. and the roof pavement would happen after it. The grooving we would probably put in after we really locate the sign. Okay, and then one. So it would be, wait a minute, so it would be, the groove pavement would be after. It would be after the sign. After the sign. Though. Right, you want to, but well before the top of the hill. Before it drops down into Maple Court. So before, well, before the Pattersons. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, okay. And then what I s propose on this too is that we actually replace, there's, uh, we go and we do one at each end of East House. Replace, we can use the existing sign there somewhere else. But the reason I say, suggest we do it is that we can use the traffic county capacity on these. Mm -hmm. To give us an idea what the vehicles are doing. Is uh, the one so, on route one on that replaces the existing sign, and is it? It's on one base, and it's there. Do you know yeah. how many years it took me to get that past through? Oh, well, uh, <laughs> well, no. This we can leave that. I just <coughs> think to yeah, us, that's a major. That's a, we've got a real speed issue. Oh yeah. Out. So this well, gives us a real speed. are permanent. Right. But well, they're permanent. A huge concrete base in the bottom. The but you can disconnect those. I mean, they can basically the sign and a limb whatnot, but yeah. it's... But, but you're proposing a new... Well, what I was thinking sign. about doing was swapping that sign out and putting, you know, basically putting... The ones that are in these, these cows? Only because these can count, these will record traffic speed. In other words... So we can use them like traffic We're speed. buying ones that will fit well, in the base. Right. And we can use those That will count. What's buy new bases for? Wait, we, already, we already have the ones, the one that's on the county road right now. Right. That one tracks. Oh, it does? Okay. I didn't know that. Yes. I didn't, okay. So I wonder if the one, that one can track, you know, who, who, who speed, you know, how many cars are speeding, at what speed they're going, all of that. Do you know if the ones in East Calus do that? They do also, yes. Is it turned on? Uh, one of them is working, one of them is not. One of them is being worked on as we speak. The motherboard blue. So it's being worked on. No, they're fairly old. No, they've only been there a year or so. Yeah, a year, so. year and a half. Okay. Um, I was thinking of the mobile car. But it's it's still under warranty, so it's not going to cost us anything. It's okay. just, it's just downtime. The company we bought them. Okay. So what's your thought about, I mean, it sounds like maybe we don't need one. Well, we don't. We don't. There are other speed locations in town. Yeah. yeah so, right. I mean, I it, I think we can easily, I can plan on using those anyway. You know, the idea is if we can, we can. Uh, we use them someplace else. Yeah, right. these new signs. Marshfield Road, people complain about speeding on Marshfield Road. Yeah, we can probably. It's, it. it's everywhere, honestly. The speeding is everywhere. It so is. So, the more of the, I, mean, I, I think it comes down to how many of these can we afford? Right. And we can figure out where to locate them. Right, and we can either move them around or move them around. Right. Well, this is an right now we have an opportunity because of the ARPA funds right. to really be able to. Right, so make that's, this, we so just got to figure out how many to buy right. and then so we, we can figure still out get where this, to go later. We can we still need. get the same amount, 
but maybe well, give us the opportunity to put a couple of Do you else. want, instead of five fixed pole, do you want four fixed and three portable? No, I think, I, I think well, we can, I can find out for on that one. The advantage of fixed poles is that, I mean, they're, they, they're a lot more stable. And you don't have to have a flat piece of ground to, I mean, if you look at in- I saw the yeah, 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 the picture, yeah. they look kind yeah, of- so yeah. now we can still move the fixed ones. They unscrew from their bases. Right. But you have to put a base in for them. It's only a base, it's-, it's But if you want base, the ability to be able to move these around more, then you see more- You've got more. two, you've got two that in this, there are, this is five sides, we've got two that are on double bases. Well, and also, I'm buying seven, five of them would be on Well, and in the future, you, when you talk about a, a base, you're talking about a long-term stable, you know, foundation to to put something that's movable into. Right. Um, in and then doesn't it mean in the future we could, when we feel like we are ready to move it, we can put in more bases? We can, we can yeah. Buy I mean, they're in part of this, they're in the information. So I'm, just wondering why, I'm just wondering why we have the Arpathons available. Does it make sense to get a couple more bases that are movable? We are. Oh, you mean a couple more? You mean even more than bases. Even just, just the bases? Yeah, we can just the bases so that you can, if you want, to add it somewhere. You know, How much are the location. bases? I will tell you, it's actually in there. Yeah. The, uh, Square base, three pounds, they're a thousand dollars each. Yeah, so it's not that much. Long pole with square base, nine hundred and fifty. Nine ninety. Yeah, it's about but that's really, the pole. I mean, I don't know how these are set up, but you should be able to just use the same post and just buy just yeah. the yeah, yeah. itself. Right. right. Yes, yeah, the sign, sign, the sign itself matters. Why don't we? Why? What if we? So can we just do something? Just approve a certain dollar amount. We're going out from our hearing what we want to do. That's what so, I think. How about we go ten thousand? What if we approve a sixty thousand dollar budget to it's be? It's not forty. No, it's forty nine. Forty nine. Well, 49. but I think that fifty five would. I'm going to say can we do fifty five. So I would make a motion that we authorize the use of ARPA funds not to exceed fifty five thousand dollars for the purchase of these removable radar speed signs and. Bases. Bases and leave the details of how many to the discretion of the road commissioner and Rick Keen. Oh, do you want to? Is there a second to Lisa's motion? I second. Well, what's the notch of scene? 55. 55,000. Yeah, I mean, okay, and Rick seconded. So I would see, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm good about what do you think we can, I mean, I say we get the five with permanent bases. We're getting some extra concrete blocks to move around. And then we could buy, we're getting two units with the mobile bases, but let's get two base sets. Yeah, you can get some extra base, that way you'll get extra base. I mean, I, I think that's, okay. it's not that expensive. That and yeah. I'm gonna need, when you get an invoice, I need it to be the same as the ARPA fund, so I gotta right. so, never know. So sure. don't put that invoice on a regular work order that I do. I, right. right. Okay. So there's a motion, and it's been seconded to authorize up to fifty-five thousand dollars for the purchase of purchase of radar speed signs at the discretion of road commissioner and Rick Keen from the ARPA funds. Minus the on that, I couldn't get it. Shipping for that. Is there $5. is there all in favor? Please say aye. 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 You guys can figure out all that. We are, yeah, yeah, we are so excited that we want you guys to be able to get started right now. You said 55,000. 55,000 from the ARPA funds. Okay. Yep. Okay, so yay. Thank you, Rick Thank you. and Alfred. Um, uh, okay, so this we're doing on the 12th. We already said that. Um, and then this one we've just finished, and you guys are just going to off you go. Um, biking signs proposal, Rick. I don't know if this one made. made I don't it. have that ready either. I'm just okay, so this will be the twelfth. So this, yeah, we're pushing 12. this off to the twelfth. This is to um, build on that idea. I think I still need to send you guys right. the photos I got of uh, putting bike signs. You know, biking friendly signage here and there in town. Okay. 
Uh, Moscow Woods closure. We're just looking for an update on that one. That project. Yeah, it's guys almost have... late, man. Yeah. Oh, is it closed yeah, now? Found, found Damn right. Oh, okay. I, 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 I pulled it. closed last week and it wasn't. Well, it was. It was supposed to be closed last weekend, at least week, but because last week there was a holiday, um, Battle of Bennington. Oh, right, right. I, so I used to like that Battle of State. The Dig Save Company lost a day. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't clear to dig until Thursday. And it didn't make sense for me to do it for one day. So I found another project to work on uh, during that time. And today we have made an awful mess of Moscow. Can I make a suggestion? <laughs> Can I make a suggestion? Sure. My husband didn't realize that the road was closed. Because I kept telling him it was going to be closed last week. So he didn't believe me that it might be closed today. So he turned up by, you know, the Great Barn. Paris, yeah, and then got to Jack Hill where the sign says detour. Is there another way to, if we put another sign at the bottom of the hill so if people don't really want to go Jack Hill, they can go peek in because that's the way he would have gone instead right. of Jack Hill. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Maybe I can put another sign or, I just, or ahead or something. I generally, when I close a road, it's at the, at the intersection, the nearest intersection. So that's where we put them. Mm -hmm. We put put the close sign at at Jack Hill intersection because mm -hmm. it's the closest intersection to our park Uh But I I've got other signs. It probably won't be as official looking as mm -hmm. the one that uh, that we use. But you know, this is at your discretion. I suppose it would have been nice if I did not bother turning into Moscow Woods. Of course, now I know. Yeah. Right. But, but right. I mean, if there had been. If there had been a sign right at the entrance to where Moscow Woods goes across the bridge off of Route 14, just saying right. Moscow Woods closed at 100 yards ahead or whatever. Right, but then, yeah, it's a lot of signage. Actually, you know what? It's, it's, it's a, a lot of signage. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, I think it might be helpful to the traveling public. Now, yeah, okay. Um, so you'll take care of it. I'll, put some, I'll put some more signs up, yeah. Do we need to repost the front porch for I think you probably should have gone to the porch farm and maybe put that in. How your long is it? Moscow is going to be closed. Do you think? Um, um, it's it's hard to say, but I'm thinking probably off and on for a month. Oh my. Um, okay. Yeah. I mean, also, I mean, things for you to know is that it's gonna. I'm gonna try to maintain open for the weekends. How are you gonna do that? Um, I'll have to manage how much we expose, how much we dig over. Uh, I mean, I did a 50 foot section today and almost had it so it was passable again. Wow. And it was, it was just starting. This, this crew that I have right now has never done this particular work before. Mm -hmm. So, it, you know, after today, they're going to they're gonna know what they're doing. Can you give me just like the one minute version? What is this work being? Uh, this work is we're digging out clay boils. Oh. So we're digging, right, What's so we're mean? digging three foot of the road out. Down. Three foot down, digging it right out and it goes away. Then we put an uh, under drain, which is stone and pipe. Yeah. We put road fabric and then we put brand new gravel. So it's it's two foot of dense grade, what they call dense grade, it's three inch minus, and then one foot of, of top coat. And we're doing this because what's there now is clay. It's clay. It's it right. soaks up the water. So it's well, up the water. Clay and water. Okay. They fight. Mm -hmm. So that's why you get this da, 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 in, the, in the road. And when when frost comes and goes, you get a huge mobile. Because it heaves up. Because it heaves because up. There's water under the yeah. water. Yeah. And now we're going to replace So, I mean, it's, it's proven. It's right. proven where, effective. Where do you see that big? Culvert coming out of the side of the road on Moscow Woods Road. That used to be a clay boil that they fixed some years ago, right. and now it was a lot. Was that a big clay boil at the at Loose where it goes from paved to dirt on Marshall yes, Road? Was the one. That was dug way down. Yeah, yeah right. So if you look at it, you could have you could have told really simply this spring because you could see we did a hundred feet from the blacktop. We re re did this whole rebuild. And then from that from that point on, that's where that clay boil was. So what we should have done probably if we had the resources is brought that up 200 feet instead of 100 feet. So you can see it in these areas where we fixed it and where it's where it's not. 
So I try to mark them, but you can only we can only do so much. I mean, right. the grants only will only pay so much, and I put in for 500 feet uh, this year, and it happens to be on Moscow Woods Road. Got it. Okay. Thank you, Alfred. Okay. So we have one more item that I'm going to turn to Denise in a second. Before we do that, I want to just make sure that we, before you leave us, that we are calling your attention to our meeting on the 12th, Alfred. Yeah, I see it. Um, so far, I mean, and as you know, we, we always reserve the right to move things if other, you know, if pri other things become a big, big priority. But uh, what we have on that night, it, there's several things that relate to you. One is just having a general meeting with the road crew members. That may be something we'd let you know we can't do if this comes up, but we do want a chance at some point to do that. Um, we want to follow up on the road crew's review of the road and bridge standards. We gave you a document that you're going to have them sign that you guys have been through that, that you've talked about it, that they have questions, that basically they're trained and re reintroduced and refreshed on the Cal standards. You, you picked that stuff up in the office the other day, right? I did. Yeah. Passed okay. around. Yeah. Just, well, I just want to make sure this is all on your radar. There's a curb cut application. Have you seen that one? The CKC curb cut application? Okay. So let me forward that to you. Okay. Where's um, the CKC stand? It's on Dugger. Road. Yeah. But Bank Mullen. Yes. Oh, the, um, the development? Yeah, I've seen that. Okay, that's all ready to go. I'm fine with that. Well, we, we're, we have it formally agended next meeting. So, yeah, so we'll ask you the usual, like, right. line of sight, does it meet the standards, that stuff. Yeah. Um, um, I think that's it for you. Just wanted to put that, make sure it's on your radar. And then we've added two new things, roof pavement and biking signs. Yes. And I got Yes. Yeah, roof another payment. big road agenda. So roof payment, we just got to figure out, you know, exact location. Because once you roof it, it's there. It's not. Yeah, you guys will work that out. You know, that that out. That's it. Okay, so Denise, um, yeah. just a couple. Same yeah. with the biking signs, too. Because we have to kind of, yeah. when MUTCD allows, and then right. if, or if we do a sign, then we do it not, a, not like a this. I'm going to send you what I got from, from a townsperson taking pictures in another town of road signs that say the bikers can use the whole lane. So, and I've seen those in other places, so I think one thing I'm interested in is whether, and I don't need an answer now, whether those are you know somehow illegal or whether those are absolutely fine signs. Well, they're not in the MUTCD, they're not. I don't need an answer now. Yeah, after you, we talked about them last time, yeah. I did see some. Yeah. Because I didn't really pay attention to them. Right, they're out there, they're all over the place. Um, okay, so you want to public works director? Yeah. Um, just to make you aware, keep you in the loop. We re-advertise for the position. Cut off date for applicants is September first, and we'll start interviewing as we get applications. It's, so just to you know what's going on. Yeah. Okay. 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 Anything else for us? I don't think so. Okay, Alfred. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Good to see you. Um, and we already have fun playing there. Yeah, we did So we um, we did the ARPA EMSD. Yep. Um, I just Rick and I attended. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. No, Thank you very much. Yes. No. No worries. Um, and if uh, Larry Brown emphasized, like we found out when we were advertising for paid positions and for volunteers, the market is really bad. bad. It's really bad. They are actually having people who were once on the fire department now coming back to serve again. They're really going to be looking to recruit women and younger folks. Uh, we did learn that- For what positions? Volunteer firefighters. Yeah. Um, they yeah, did, they, you can't drive a fire truck until you're 21. Which is something they found out. You can drive like the pickup truck or the ambulance, but you can drive a fire truck to the twenty one. So that was interesting. Mm. Um, we looked at the budget, their budget ended okay. I think they were a little bit over, but not bad. Um, one of the big things that came out was what I put in the notes. I saw that. About um, looking to provide some kind of an incentive for people. And I asked Sandy, for instance, how many people in Calis serve on fire department or the EMT squad. 
He said there's like three, two or three. And they, you know, he pays some of their volunteer fire ambulance people a stipend, and they have specific criteria, like you have to have um, been scheduled for so many, so many hours. So many hours, you have to attend it training, you have to attend at meetings, they have specific criteria if you're a volunteer to get the stipend. But he just wanted to put it out there, and I heard this talk about that maybe the legislature would look into finding some kind of an exemption, or not exemption, but I don't know what the right word is, not stipend. It was, I guess it is, I guess it is exemption, like with the veterans. It's the, not, but they're not, not for, the veterans aren't fully exempt. <laughs> so, so, so a, 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 a property, a property tax exemption up to a certain amount like we do for the veterans. Some kind of reduced property tax. Right, like right now, Kalispie is $40,000 off of your value that your taxes are assessed on. So I don't know if they're looking for something like that or, you know, $1,000 towards your property tax payment. So anyways, they just so they're, put that out there. Can I add to that? I mean, yeah. in that, you know, that's a really good idea itself. Number of people in that are doing other practice that you might write who are volunteers. So, if, if there's anything we could do that kind of covers that gamut, you know, not mm -hmm. if you follow me, because I mean, mm -hmm. so let's we should put her. That's true, her. that's true for the on the veterans side of the equation as well, well. right? And the veterans, the state has a certain amount that they allow, right? And then Calis goes above and beyond. We do, I remember. Right. Yeah. So, so anyways, it's just to put that out there. We don't need to figure it out tonight. Just want to put that on everybody's radar. Do we want, well, let me ask the sense of the board, though. Do we want to carry this as a future agenda item that we yeah, actually yeah, should, we should circle back to? Yeah, it? I think yeah. we should. And we should actually carry it. I think we actually should carry it almost indefinitely. It's, it's one of these things. What we want to do, it's not just a, a giving a benefit. I think at every opportunity that we've got in town meetings and any time we're talking to the public, I mean, we should solicit, you know, encourage people. I think we should encourage our, our representatives in the legislature well, to see if they can do anything. Yeah, right. I, would, I would encourage them. Yeah, I think yeah. that we should encourage them. Yeah. Do we yeah. want to ask, we could do, I mean, carrying it, carrying it, like, <laughs> Rick, I heard you, and I'm going to, just with a sense of humor, Push back that carrying it permanently may not be what we wanted to do. Well, I mean, that means we, 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 that means we so. never do anything. <laughs> That's right. Well, I think I do. The only thing I, I can say is I don't know that, that I put it over a specific something. date. I would just put it as I put it as a future, um, future agenda item. Yeah. So it's on our radar. But do we want to? One thing we could do, and we could warn this for a, a future, you know, in the next few weeks discussion, is actually invite. Um, Woodbury and East Montpelier to give us a proposal. Mm -hmm. Do we? We yeah. could. We could ask them to. We could invite a proposal because between now and we could even put it on the warning at town meeting. We could if we had a proposal that we were processing pretty quickly. Well, there's that. I mean, and I mean, they just need also for us to get the word out. So, for instance, I suggested and Woodbury Volunteer Fire Department jumped on this was. Like we're having Calus's Fall Foliage Festival. Right. Why it's not? the Fall Foliage Festival Friday and Saturday or Saturday and Sunday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So, for instance, when they do the, there's going to be an event in East Calus, I said, bring your shiny red trucks right. to the rec field in East Calus for, right. you know, for the kiddos. Do you know yet who's the people, who are the people who know what the calendar for Fall Festival is? That's something that we're working on with Jamie. It's it's kind of a okay, okay. great. So I'll keep. I told her I would keep her informed. So I'm gonna I'm gonna capture. So sure. kind of gets off the track of. Can I ask before you go even further? Can as opposed to actually even come with a proposal, do we actually want to sit down with them specifically around this idea with like the uh, East Montpelier Select Board and us to actually you know just brainstorm. They could have. What about? And then we do something a little more formal. I mean, well, what I what so I, what about Rick and I work on this project? Yeah, done. Yeah. That's that's fine. I mean, I where my head was is if we invite the the Woodbury Fire Department and the East Montpelier Fire Department to bring a proposal to us, they're doing the work, Denise, rather than you guys starting well, from I scratch. Would, I would suggest that we invite them to come and talk to us about this idea, because. 
if we ask them to come with a proposal, they're not going to have any idea what we want to okay. talk about. I would just invite them to have a discussion. Okay, so why don't we let them, let's, let's put them on the agenda. This can be 926. That's good. That's good. All right, so September 26th, yeah. we will invite. And then after we see what they propose, then we can assign. A discussion. Right. We can, we can in, in figure out who's got what on their and plates think, at that point. Right, and I think that would go a long way to showing yep. support. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, so that meeting will be, the 26th will just be, will warn, just what, 20 for, minutes of discussion? Yeah, let's just have a discussion. And, you know, they may be able to show up. And well, it's about how to support them. And, you know, I think they'll appreciate this. And particularly around the cruise, I think this is this that's not just that's the subject. Yeah, yeah, that's the subject. But I like the concreteness of this idea. All right, so you know, I'll, I mean, it, I'll be in touch with Chance. rather than it being all uh, like a whiteboard. So I'll let Chance and Larry. and Larry. I'll float it out there to them. Right. I I mean I guess I'm going to just say I like the I mean a an incentive to tie to, to property taxes. Has, can take any number of shapes and forms and numbers or approaches, but it has a concreteness that moves us mm -hmm. out, like I said a minute ago, out of the whiteboard. Yeah. Right, and it doesn't and I like that. It and, it, and it's not like... But it doesn't it deal with anybody's thing. Right. right. It's it's not yeah, but neither does a veterans one. I mean... And yeah, but that how, gives me we don't try to do it. Okay. Um, Sure, that could be like a. And is there? Does anybody have any thoughts? Well, right. I think the fire department might have some ideas. They might have some yeah, ideas. Sure. Just, okay. Okay. Let's. Um, anything else we want to say about East Monte or no. the update? Okay. Mark, any other questions? No. Nope. Thank you again, both of you, for going. Okay. Update on personnel. We've posted. already said we posted. Right. I, and we posted the treasurer of business manager position. Both positions have been posted or will be. Times are, I guess, part of is that Vermont League of Cities and Towns classified section online. Um, I put them on front porch form. I'll put them on again. I saw. And, um, the minutes know. said seven days, but I don't remember talking about I seven days. Seven and we haven't posted in seven days. No, but, but I think we should. Can we? Yes. Yeah. And will you? Yes. Okay. Thank you. And that's about it. We have received one application. For the treasurer or business manager position that I sent around to everybody. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, the other one, training to process tax payments. Um, that is so that as the tax payments start coming in, they started coming in before the bills were even mailed. Um, and it's a pretty straightforward process the way that it was explained to me by Nimrick. And Barbara has offered. Thank you. Keep nice it. to see you. Keep it. Okay. Um, and Barbara has graciously offered to, as the checks come in, she will do the, there's like a checklist you have to go through to make sure they're dated. The written amount, we, dollar, the other dollar amount that they're signed. If they don't have a parcel number on it, we have to look up the parcel number. That's why that was really important. I didn't realize how important it was. Mm -hmm. But if it doesn't, have the parcel number on it, then you gotta look it up because you gotta know what payment goes to which parcel. So if people have five um, <coughs> yep. if people have five parcels, it would actually it's better if they would send in five checks. Instead of you trying to instead of us trying to figure I out how to get that how to allocate it. You know, how to allocate the payment, especially if it ends up not being enough. Right. Um and or too, or too much. Oh I right. think this whole bill but only like, yeah, how do you right. know? So the idea would be for Barbara and I to, once that 12-step process is done, or however many steps it is, that um, she and I would learn from NEMRIC how to enter the tax payments into the NEMRIC system. Um, and, she, and she was wonderful about volunteering to do some of this other work. So it uh, doesn't really fall under her. You just mentioned volunteering. I'm assuming though that we're actually paying her. Right. And so will we she would be paying her under her chances yeah. to town clerk. Or is she gonna track the time separately for us to we could ask her to so do track it separately, but it might be hard because as the mail's coming in, phone calls, people coming in with their check might be really hard to track yeah. to that detail. We could easily probably track when we're doing the entry, you and I. Okay. But, all but, right. 
So this is, you're not looking for any, you're just letting us know that this, this is, is, yeah, really, I mean, I think that one of the takeaways is this is another another little task that needs to be done. That is repetitive. That is repetitive, but also we are, it's painful, and it happens because of the good, the good, um, I, I was, the good intentions is not the right word, but be, because you and and Barbara and other folks, because people are rolling up their sleeves and figuring out ways to get it done. Right, I mean, that's basically the point, is just to get this done. We're getting, we are getting the work done, even though we don't have a, we don't have a full-time treasurer, and it's, and it's, we fully acknowledge and it's, it's, and it's painful and taking. Right, and, you know, some of, I mean, I'm learning a lot. Which is helpful to be able to help share with board. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So the repetitive part is you get a thing, you compare the numbers, you look at the parcel, you make sure the math works. Right. Next. Enter the check number and amount into the number system that matches up with the parcel number that's hopefully on the check. Right. So in a certain <coughs> environment, we could almost hire a, a temp to help with, with that. Good. Okay. And but then, of course, on the deposits that Nemeric will do, and I will take it to the bank. Yep. Great. Thank, thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Um, okay. Curtis Pond Dam updates. Oh. I actually. Oh, okay. You're going to explain this, right? So, Mark, if you, you want to explain to the camera right. and all the rest of the moving. <clears throat> I'm recusing myself as a member of the select board on all matters having to do with the Curtis Pond Dam because I have a camp on Curtis Pond. And you are the. And you are working on the. And I am, I am. The chair. One of the people working in the working group of the Curtis Pond Association working on <coughs> strengthening and repairing the Curtis Pond Dam. We have a memorandum of understanding between the town, the Curtis Pond Association to move this project, to keep moving this project forward. We recently deposited, we, we wanted, we, the Curtis Pond Association, desired to raise $100,000 this summer towards the cost of the dam, particularly the soft cost that would allow us to get the project underway. <clears throat> I'm happy to say we have raised $105,000. That's amazing. So, um, we deposited fifty thousand. Did you have a party or a pass a hat with the town? Yes, we had fifty thousand to the town, which allowed the town to enter into a contract with the engineer, mm -hmm. uh, Des Moines King, to refine and complete the engineering as necessary to complete the permit application, which the town filed. Um, I about a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, and that one we we did a check for. We gave the check for a thousand dollars for the. Right. And that was picked up by members of the association, hand delivered to Waterbury. Correct. Yeah. And now here we are. This is a minor item, as you know. We have also applied for federal funding from. The only federal agency which, to our knowledge yet, gives funds for this kind of thing, it's the U.S. Department of Agriculture, uh, NRCS, National Resource, no, what is it? Is it it's the USDA, right? Yeah, it's the USDA, wow. and it's, they're very enthusiastic, as we know, we've all discussed this, they're very enthusiastic, the town submitted a letter of interest, the town has submitted with us various documents to them. This is just one more document that they gave us. This is not going to move quickly. The first thing they have to do is a feasibility study. It will probably take them a year to do the feasibility study. And they is NRCS. NRCS. They have retained a consultant. They're enthusiastic. They want to do this. This just basically they asked that this, this is a sponsor form. And I just filled it out by hand because it was a PDF and I don't have the software to do fillable PDFs. So, and I signed it out 
transferred in, in Denise's name, they know to contact John, Denise, and for the CPA, me, but they just, someone had to fill this out. So that was the source of this. And this, and as we talked about, this doesn't hold us to anything it does or entire. Or when this becomes, when the weather actually hits the road, is three years from now or whenever, when they decide that, yes, they want to give us the money, and we decide, well, okay, we really want to take it if we really get to that point. Then we have to make sure that we can really, you know, we want to enter into these binding agreements, but at this point, it's not. So what this is just this is for the feasibility study. Right. One of the things that I noticed in the in the Q&A, the yeah. FAQs that I wanted, I highlighted and I wanted, um, I know this is something that people is on people's minds and I want to make sure I understood it well but if I did understand it then it's it's I mean it's all pertinent but this is relevant to one of the concerns about you know long-term costs um, I want item 3c sponsor must make arrangements to cover the cost of O and M operational maintenance um, and and the the response that I, I'm assuming Mark, you developed the responses for that. Actually, Marge did, but Marge did. Okay, so the the association did. Yeah. The town of Callis will cover the cost of operation and maintenance through a special assessment district, and annual town operating budget. And I, I want to test my understanding. The special assessment district is something that we heard about on Zoom. I remember that. Mm -hmm. um, so sometime within the past two years, I believe, where the Curtis Pond Association had actually, or the dam, the, tam, the dam team, had modeled out different approaches to paying this. And the idea of a special assessment district is one that would, if formally adopted, but you're keeping, you're keeping alive the recognition that there are, there are properties that more um, disproportionately benefit from a project like this and the idea that the, t that, uh, the ongoing maintenance might be more heavily borne by certain properties than by others. Am I understanding this correct? Absolutely correct. Okay. Okay. And that's that, an assessment. Yeah, yeah, right, that thing that, thing that Marge did, he took that into account. Yeah, so that's what I'm that, saying. Yeah, it, that's, that, you're absolutely yes. right. And first of all, we may not use, we may not, if we can raise enough money either through grants or our own, we're not gonna need an assessment district. If we want to use an assessment district, we can. Whether the, it's too soon to know, is the assessment district gonna to be to supplement a federal grant? Is it gonna to be to pay for the full balance? We just don't, we're not even right. there is it yet. Gonna pay back but once we years? know, let's say there's an assessment district for a certain amount of money to cover it. I'm, it is our opinion, the CPA's opinion now, Curtis that there will, that there will, the Curtis Pond Association, that there will be a burden sharing arrangement whereby people around the pond are recognized to have a benefit that is a special benefit. And then people perhaps near the pond have a somewhat lower benefit and that people in the town in general have a yet lower uh, benefit and that has to be worked out. I think that that yeah. I think that's keep saying saying that and keeping that concept alive is buys a lot of good faith around this project. The I people really from Curtis it. Pond, the Curtis Pond Association believes that they want to step up and to make this happen. Yeah. And that's why we have been able in the space of three months to raise one hundred and five thousand yeah, dollars, right. mainly yeah. in small donations. Well, and the special assessment district years ago, when we were looking at this, wasn't something that the C the association or the folks at the time were willing to consider. Well, right now so there wasn't an association. Right. Well, yeah. so this we've come a long. What I'm we've saying come a long is way. We've come yeah. a long ways. Yeah. No, that's huge. Ended, so I think that where we need what we need to do is have a sharing of responsibility that appears fair to everybody. Right. And we'll just have to work that out. Right. Right. So thank you. Thank you for that. Thanking um, for thank you to the association. Yeah. Right. Are there other points you want to make or folks on the board have other questions? So again, we... I just want to think we we're, we're going to be doing right, essentially that you're going to be doing that feasibility study and then following that, then you get into the deep engineering at that. 
Well, well actually, what's are. happening is no, there are two separate processes. One is our own. We're moving ahead with state permit. That permit, if we get, we will get it. It may take us six months to get it. Right. It will have a, a lifetime of two years and can easily be renewed for that's another three years. Question. So that's done. The federal grant process is just out there moving glacially on its own. I guess my feeling is it's kind of a backup thing. You know, does it happen? Doesn't it happen? Well, Next year, we'll try again to see if we can get congressional, congressionally directed spending. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll look to see whether the Inflation Reduction Act or the ARC, you know, any of these other federal mm -hmm. acts has money. But at the moment, I think we're just moving ahead with our own local process. <laughs> <laughs> so so when, the is, when does the actual, I mean, typically in, in the planning process, right? I mean, I, I mean that feasibility study is a federal process right. that lasts that's a year. Usually in any engineering process, that, that's what you start with. Because any like state funds generally, you know, I, mean, I do this all the time, and I can make, I go do this for dams, but I'm sure it isn't very different. So you go through feasibility, and they look at all the options, right? And then you pick a preferred option. And then that, from that point, you go for your engineering, because you know, I mean, and that usually the funding is tied. You can't go without forward without a feasibility study. The feasibility study is a watershed feasibility study, not okay. a not dam, a dam feasibility, feasibility okay. study. And okay. the right. boy and king is the engineer they usually pick to do their work. Okay. But nice. is there a risk that we will somehow get a kind of different path in order if we take mm -hmm. federal money or <laughs> That always can happen. No, that right. always can happen. Right. Yeah. Great, thank you. Is there a motion from the board to approve the um, form WS4 for the watershed program application? So moved. Second. Any other discussion, comments from Mark? All in favor, please. authorize the assignment. And we'll authorize the niece to sign. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. <sighs> Thank you, Mr. Mahali. Okay. We have All right. One abstain on that, right? Because you didn't vote. I abstain. No, you're not abstaining. No, you're not abstaining. You're, you're recused. I'm recused. You're recused. So that's yeah, that's. Just, that's just, yep, he's that's just he's just not a thing at all. Just, uh, that's me. Clear for the minute. Well, not a thing at all. No, no, you're not. But no, what you said, you're not abstaining I'm because you're you. fully recused. Okay. Um, okay. I just want to make sure there's a vote of three. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Okay. So um, I'm just gonna. We're we're now on to round robin. This is where we can like bring in any things we haven't talked about that we want to give folks updates on or add to a future agenda. Rick, anything on your mind? No. Moving forward with the the, the signs I'm excited about. That's our first stage. We're working on other traffic. I really like the idea. I thought, you know, I'm doing some feasibility studies. On yeah, we're going to have that on a future agenda. And we'll do, yep. yeah, I mean, I think we had a particular look at, you know, for a couple of locations, we'll do something like that. Certainly East, East Cal's Village. And, and then, and then it's a state route. Certainly make the corner. Yeah. I think, I think there are a couple of intersections areas that we might want to look at. These are probably <coughs> inexpensive, but you know, one of them being the, the blister road in Maple Corner, where we have these Y intersections, quite possibly by Adamant. number 10 pond too. Adamant. And Adamant is a, yeah, and so we should, we should really- Lisa, can we capture the list that we're making? Okay. Um, we mentioned Adamant, we've mentioned Adamant. Maple Corner, number yeah, 10 the number pond. Number 10 pond intersection. And we want and maple the maple yeah, the Worcester Road, Maple Corner, uh, to name a few. That's her. Yeah. I think we and when we say other other Y intersections, yeah. we want to look at team these up with stop sign. Well, not just stop sign. It's I mean, well the, that's a, well, this, maple, is, yeah, this is a conversation for it's another stuff. time, but yeah. Yeah, but that's yeah. that's like what are you know, like you've talked about what Danville did, like 
How do we bring yeah, that? Traffic calming. Yeah. That's where we will look at that. The project is really impressive. Yeah. yeah, we can we can actually get consultants to come in and help. That's what, that's idea. that's the uh, that's, that's the idea of using the ARPA funds. Yeah, we kind of have to do that because if to access well, if we use ARPA funds for that. But to access state funds or federal funds, we, can, we actually need the feasibility studies, you know, the scoping right. studies to yep. 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 access it. So that would be a good Yeah, yeah and that would be well. leveraging the ARPA money so that we don't need, I mean, we really That's want right. to preserve the ARPA money for right. things that we really, yeah. right. right, I don't want to just buy stuff. <clears throat> right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. That, that, yeah. So, uh, so anything, anything else that no, you no, want to no, mention, no. Denise? Um, no, keeping up with stuff. Um, we thought the parcel mapping contract, Jan found one that was signed, but in checking with PDR, Christine, somebody who's lost me, I can't remember, um, said no, that was the 2021 contract. So we need to put on the, Jan the September 12th agenda, sign the parcel mapping contract. And I have it right here, but we can't sign it tonight because it was too late to get it on the agenda for tonight. Okay. And that's it. Okay, um, I don't think I don't think I have anything. Are we gonna do one? Oh. Well, what? No. Okay. Do you want to go into executive? Yes. Session? Um, I just want to make sure that I a lot of the stuff, future agenda items. Um, I see Denise. We have C Kellogg Hubbard wants to come. Well, that's the question, and I think we just you and I guess can decide if we. I'm imagining want to take time to have them come. It's probably good public relations. We might want to roll five minutes or roll some of that forward because the twelfth is not getting pretty long. Right. So I told her I would check with the board and see what their what our pleasure was is to have them come. I, I like the idea. I would imagine I can imagine it would be the twenty sixth. We do have importantly, we've been putting the shade tree preservation yeah. plan off for quite a bit. I feel like it might be time to Yeah, we should follow up on that. Get that sure. done. Yeah. Um, so yeah, all right. Um, I think we're ready to. I believe we need a motion to go into executive session. I move that we session. go into executive session for personnel matters pursuant to one VSA three thirteen A one VSA three thirteen three thirteen A. Yeah. I'll second. And all in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. okay.